our daughter, Leanne, who is now 20 and at Tennessee Tech and about to be a senior, was going to Fuel on Wednesday nights, and she loved it. And she kept telling us, Mom and Dad, you both need to, we need to go. We just need to try it. We need to try it. So we finally said, okay, we'll go on a Sunday. And we all went. And we walked in the door, and there's a barber shop pretty much set up in the lobby. And everybody, <laughs> man, woman, children, yeah, were getting their heads shaved because they were supporting Alexis because she had lost her hair. And it was stunning to me to see so many people just love her, not just with their words, but with their actions. And so we were sitting with one of Jack's, our, our son's name is Jack, um, his friends, and they, I turned around and they were gone. When they came back, he was shaved bald. <laughs> and I was like, Jack, we were visiting. What are you doing? You don't even know Alexis. But like, he, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it was contagious and he did it. And we were, we were just like, wow. This, to me, it was just radical. It's totally different than any church that we had ever been to. Right. Because it was not just you know, you have to wear this to come to Sunday, on Sunday, you have to behave this certain way. Um, it was showing love in action and not just in word, because... Actually living out the gospel. Yeah, living out the gospel. But to me, there's more than one moment of <laughs> aha, I think, um, because uh, with Fuel, our, our daughter Leanne and Jack both got to experience their first foreign mission trip. And it was a struggle for me because I love Jason Pennington, but <laughs> I was like, God, you want me to send my children to a third world country with Jason? Like, okay, <laughs> I have a hard time sending him downtown with Jason. Yeah. <laughs> and so that took a lot of faith on our part to do that, even though we love him and trust him completely. Um, and that has set in motion her, her love and her calling for international missions. And it was just that small little trip um, and us having to have faith that God loved her more than we did. And now now she's 20 and she's been to Haiti about eight times. She's been um, in Southern, Southeast Asia and it just opened up the door for her and for God's calling on her heart. And we were, it was hard, but we've been obedient to let her do that even though some people think that that's crazy. Right, it's right. been a lot harder than, than um, we ever imagined it would be. Just seeing people pour into other people's lives. You know, that was the beginning there, just to see Jason kind of pouring into our family's lives through Jack and Leanne, through the FUEL program, which was, it's an amazing program. Uh, but just being able to, uh, you know, get out in the community and live the gospel and the surf Sundays and help people and uh, just do what Jesus did and get out and uh, mingle with the people and love on them just like he did and just, just live out the gospel. It's uh, it's amazing. That, that brings me that. to what it what our big moment is now is my, um, micro churches, and our, we host a micro church that meets here and uh, several other homes on Sunday night. And to me, that is a huge difference than any other church that we've been to, because it draws you closer to um, other families. You get to know the families on a more um, intimate basis. You get to know their children. You talk about what's going on in your life, and so you hold each other accountable. Um, and it's not always easy to host because your house gets overrun with children from babies to, you know, adult children, and it gets crazy and chaotic, but that's what family is. And when I think, if I think about who would I call if I needed anything, and it would be somebody from our microchurch. And so I think growing that is really, really important. I think anybody that's not in a microchurch is really missing out, huge. Um, and I think that anybody that opens up their home to host one, it will be stressful sometimes, but it, you will be so blessed. You'll be, you'll be blessed by doing it. And that's just something different that we've never experienced.